All right, guys. So I just came back from a run, and um, like you should always do after any workout, whether it's running or if you go to the gym, lifting weights, you should stretch. So I decided to make a quick stretch video so that you can see what I do after my workout. All right, guys. So let's just do it. Just make sure you're all relaxed. Um, you're wearing something comfortable. I have no shoes on, so let's do this. You're gonna start with your feet wider than your shoulders, okay? Hands up. Just kind of like bring your, bringing your heart rate down. Breathe in and out. One more time. Make sure that you open your lungs. And now you open your legs or your feet a little bit wider. And you're gonna bring both arms back. And you're gonna drop forward. Your back is flat and you're gonna hold it. Your toes are pointing to the front. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Then you're gonna drop down palms on the floor and hold it and make sure you your legs are straight and you're gonna feel that stretch on the back on your hamstrings and even your calves and your lower back you're gonna hold it for 10 more seconds and then you're gonna it's a semi lunge to the right and try to kind of, you, you're sitting down on that leg and stretch the opposite leg. So you're gonna feel the stretch in your inner thigh, on your IT band, and even your hamstrings and glutes. And we're gonna move to the other side. Make sure you breathe every time. Don't hold your breath. Bring it to the center again. Now you're gonna bend your knees. It's like a semi sumo squat. Palms are down and you're gonna drop your butt. And you're gonna feel that stretch in your inner thigh. And you bring it up, stretch all the way up, bring it back down, again, last time, and up, now we're going to move to the right side. And we're going to both feet up pointing in the same direction. And if you have to drop the back leg a little more, just do it so that the knee comes down and you're gonna bring in your hips to the front and you're gonna hold your hands up. Hold it, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. The longer, the better. Hold it and bring it back. Now we're gonna bring it to the front. And you're gonna keep the hand or the, the arm that's in front, keep it down with your hand on the ground and then the opposite hand is gonna go up. Don't forget to breathe.
bring the hand down and you're gonna extend that front leg and make sure the back leg is flat on the floor. And always keep your back flat. Hold it 10 seconds. Lean forward. Bring both feet together. Come up. Now we're going to move to the other side. Same thing. Toes are facing the same direction. Palms are down. Bring that back leg a little bit more towards the back. And you're going to bring those hips forward. Bring the arms up. And bring it back. Breathe. Remember this is to bring your heart rate down and to stretch those muscles to help prevent injury, to help you with your next workout. Now I'm gonna bring it down. And then again, the hand that's in front goes down and then the opposite hand is looking up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. Now bring both hands down. Remember we're gonna stretch that front leg. Make sure the back foot is totally flat and you're gonna feel that nice stretch on the back of your leg, the front of your thighs. You're gonna feel that, your calves, lower back. And bring that back leg forward, feet together. And bring it up slowly. Now we're gonna move to the front. Now you're gonna bring your feet one leg across the other. It doesn't matter which one as long as you remember to switch. And you're gonna bring your arms up and you're gonna lean forward. This is a great IT band stretch. Remember when you stretch, you prevent a lot of injuries like knee problems, even um, feet problems. Because your body is nice and loose and relaxed. So stretching should be part of your workout. Even if it's just five to 10 minutes. Bring it up, arms up together cross to the other side and bring it down hold it hold it hold it oh I can feel it right there I'm gonna bring it up slowly. Arms up. Hands down. And now we're just gonna take it down to the ground. We're just gonna sit. Nice and relax. Remember this is just a moment to relax and Make sure that, because you already put a lot of stress in your body. So you just want to bring everything down to normal, okay? So now, what we're going to do is you're gonna place one hand on the side and you're gonna bring the other hand down. And you're just gonna lean to that side. You're gonna feel that stretch right here 
on the sides of your upper body, your arms, and you even feel it right here as well. So, don't forget to breathe. And let's switch to the other side. Oh, that feels good. Okay, we're gonna come to the center. And now we're just gonna place our hands on, right on top of our knees. And you're gonna grab on one side. Don't put too much pressure on it, but just tilt your head to the side. Hold it right there, you're stretching your neck. You can feel it all right here, all that tension. Even your shoulder. And we're gonna bring the hand down and we're just gonna rotate to the other side. And use that other hand to help a little bit with that stretch. bring that hand down just gonna rotate to the right and then rotate to the left bring the hand to the center drop down and up one more time keep your head up and now you're gonna bring your arms up breathe in breathe out breathe in One last time. In. Hold it. And now we're gonna let it all out. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you like it. Um, try it out. Stretching is very, very important for your body. Um, if you don't stretch, you can get injured. I mean, it's. There's so many benefits to this. You can even stretch, even if you don't work out, you should stretch. So make sure you take that time out to do that. And um, try it out, let me know how it goes, and I'll talk to you next time. My name is Jeanette Martinez, and this was Transformers Fitness for Life. Ready? Yeah. All right, guys. So let's just do it. Just make sure you.